Attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top Allumage et décollage VV05. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. clouds off like a shot you saw Vega rise like an arrow surprisingly fast if you're used to watching Ariane 5. Acquisition de la télémesure lanceur par la station de Saint-Jean-du-Maroni. My friend Guido here pumped his fist in the air when he saw her rise. <laughs> were you aware you were doing that? That's terrific. Th those of you who are following the Ariane flights know that the heavier launcher rises much more slowly. The DDO is saying everything is normal. Ariane 5 weighs over six times what Vega does, carries four times as much propellant. She lifted off perfectly from French Guiana, beginning the fifth mission in her young career. She weighs now at liftoff 136 tons. They call her the light launcher, but uh, she's not really as light as all that, 136 tons after all. The first stage burning now, weighing 97 tons, 88 tons of that are fuel. The first stage will burn its single engine for about two minutes before being jettisoned. All is normal on board. The first stage produced in Colifero, near Rome. The Italians uh, leading this project then delivered to the French Guiana propellant plant here where it's loaded with fuel and it's then transferred to the booster integration building. You saw some of those shots in the launch campaign film we had just before beginning there. The upper segment of the Ariane 5 booster is also loaded in Colifero, same place, same teams. The DDO has called out the separation of the first stage, also called the P-80, and you can see we've had ignition of the second stage, which is called the Z-23, Z-4 Zephyro. We're in the second stage burn now. The second stage, the Zephyro 23, will, will burn its solid rocket fuel for 86 seconds. It weighs 25 tons and 23 tons are fuel. What's the satellite doing now? At the moment, the satellite is, uh, we say, enjoying the ride, although it is a relatively rough ride to reach its position in orbit. And it's a sun-synchronous orbit. Sun-synchronous means that we are this evening launching towards north, towards towards a polar orbit, an orbit which goes over the poles, and it's an orbit that while the Earth is rotating between, beneath the Le satellite. Est calme. Good news. Beneath the satellite orbital plane, it covers the whole Earth. The final destination is about 800 kilometers altitude, 786, and the orbit is called sun-synchronous because a given point on the Earth's surface is seen always at the same local time. And the altitude is more or less 800 kilometers? Uh, 786, this is the final destination, and we are on our way to it. The sun-synchronous or polar orbit, different from the geostationary transfer orbit where the majority of telecom satellites go, which is the usual Arian mission, which goes east, although uh, Arian can be used for this launch as well. So sun-synchronous orbit. Yes, and we will cross the equator at 10.30 local time. Z23. All right, you saw right on time separation of the Zephyro 23 stage, the second stage, and we are awaiting ignition, there we have it, you saw in the cartoon, of the third stage, which is a, another Zephyro stage, called Zephyro 9. Now you see the fairing has been jettisoned. Why do we jettison the fairing right now? Now we are outside the atmosphere, the altitude you see it on the left uh, uh, low corner of the screen, there is no more atmosphere and therefore we get rid of some weight and Sentinel-2A starts to get a taste of space. 